For 30 days, Muslims around the world fast from sunrise to sunset. Jawad Khan, a teacher at the Oregon Islamic Academy, says it's more than not eating food. Muslims, we fast because for multiple reasons. One is to learn patience and to learn a little bit more about ourselves. Another reason, to learn more about others. We get to break our fast at sunset. There's people who don't get to break their fast. We get to feel what they feel. We get to empathize with what they are going through. Cantor will be fasting alongside with them in Denver or wherever he's playing, unable to take any medicine for his shoulder during that time. And eating his first meal before sunrise and not eating or drinking anything until after sunset. A little bit difficult at first and then by the time you get into the fifth, sixth day, you're firmly set into that routine and um, you know, you really begin enjoying it. You like that routine and when it's done, you miss it a lot. anter has been here before. In fact, he fasts about one or two times a week. Holly Morello, a nutritional therapy practitioner who also works with athletes, says his experience should help him out during this month. He gets to replenish his um, stores then, and he's already has really good nutrition, and he's been used to doing this for a lot of years. So I think he's going to be um, he's going to be game on. He's going to really um, probably perform better than he usually does. Today on a conference call, Coach Terry Stotts echoed those thoughts, even citing Hakeem Olajuwon. The Rockets Center and Hall of Famer actually played better during games that took place during Ramadan. Now one quick note, uh, get, tomorrow's game starts at 8.30. Sunset is about 8 o'clock Denver time, so he'll have time to at least uh, replenish something. Oh, that's good. Game on. Game on. We're with them. Right. Thank you, Devin.